Join us for another video. This is our latest things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for joining us and welcome you to my channel. And my wife made this feast, so what are we having today? Arlene and my wife is Annie. <laughs> um, thank you, Arlene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't say Annie this time. Um, okay, so we're having today a pork chop with some nice onion saute, some quinoa. Some salad and some cucumbers, of course. Chilo. Chilo, we have got my water, my ice water. My wife has her wine, and then my wife also some we have some tortillas. All right, so how, come, how about we start? Okay. I am, she was cooking this, and my mouth was getting watery by the second. Wait a second. You need me to pour it up here. It looks beautiful, baby. Thank you so much. Mm, you're welcome. Let me just keep up. I hope you guys are having a great day. We're having a good day after all. It's been busy, but we're having a really good day. Oh, that looks good. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm giving eggs a break today because I had one a couple of them in the morning. So I'm giving it a ring up. Eggs. Mm, look at that nice, fresh. Yummy. Yummy for my tummy. We haven't been much on YouTube, guys. We've been really busy. But we try to watch it here and there. Yeah, I've, we're really behind. We have had a sick baby, a sick yes, puppy. Yes, but she's okay. Now. And yeah, she's, we've been going back and forth to the hospital. And many, many, many times. Ultrasounds and... Everything. X-rays. X-ray. Lots of X-rays. Yeah, it's so X-rays. And, um... So it's been a pretty stressful week. Yeah, week. Two, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, three. She three weeks ago she kind of started, but anyways. So. I well, apologize, guys. We have I know much. we have a lot of catching up to do, but we will. Yes, we will. We will. I know we're missing lots of good videos right now. Yes, Oops. we are. But don't think we're not thinking about you guys. I'm telling you, it's been. That's one thing that's bugging me that we haven't had time. We'll do some catch up. We have some good binge watching. Which yes, we do. When we finally get to rest, it'll be nice to. Yes. She's coming along slowly but surely. Yeah. The things that an owner does just to make their babies better yeah. is amazing. Well, then it's paying off, so. Well, it's a baby girl. Yeah. The only girl we have in her path. She's our alpha. But she'll be good. Yes, I'm just happy. She's not the alpha for nothing. She's even when she's weak and sick, she's still going out there. I mean, anybody that walks by, hmm. mm -hmm. she'll mold them. No I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Money to walk through, jump Man, this looks beautiful, baby. And we got a pickle back, yeah. I mean, a pickle, a cu cucumber. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the challenge continues. I'm telling you, I can First thing that comes out. So we were, hold on, we were challenged by uh, X Teen ND to do body swap. I've been working on her for a while. Oh my god. I I'm... convinced her she doesn't have to go get her nails did. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Stay tuned, let's see where that goes. Soon. Don't know when. Sometime. In the future. Make sure you pay attention to the nails. Oh God! <laughs> It'll be clip nail. You don't like clip on nail. <laughs> well, you know, these are my short nails. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> All right, Manjatic? Yeah, let's dig in, baby. Man, this looks so delicious. I love how you put it cooked it with onion. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh wow. Mm. Salami? Mm hmm. Tim with salad? Yeah, that, um, that, that's the Italian package. Mmm. <laughs> it's not my sweet kale, but it's good. 
I always call this make believe rice, but it's good. Um, it's quinoa. Mm. Quinoa, and it's good for you. It's very good. Mmm. Mmm. Well, you got tortilla. Oh, did it? And I went to the vet. They were having this uh, food show. You know how you show TV? Mm hmm. So there were 12 different couples, two people, not a couple, two people, and one team. So they had to choose out of all these countries what everybody had to cook. And they offered them, like, they all have different country experience, like you know, French and all that. Mm -hmm. So they chose Mexican. Mm. And everybody, you know, and we go to the place, it's a lot of Spanish people. So they were trying to say that they were cooking at the, um, when you cook tortilla, what's it called? Comal. Comal. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was an English show, so they said, come all. So people oh, really? Here. And they were saying, but you gotta, they had to learn how to make tortilla. Mm. And they would say how, how many years ago it started, how they started like centuries ago. You know how they started cooking it? Mm -hmm. But it was so funny because they kept on calling tortilla. And the whole room was laughing, it was so funny. But they were cooking good. But some people never cooked Mexican food before. So that was a challenge. I didn't stay for the whole thing, but it was interesting to watch all the different people cook, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was one guy that he lost his job. So he decided to open a small little in LA. It was from Sinacoa or Sinaloa? No. Some city with a C, it's a small city. Culiacan? No. Anyways, so he was raised over there very humble. Mm -hmm. So he came to the United States when he was a kid. Mm -hmm. and he was working in this company and he ended up losing a job. Mm -hmm. So he had a family. He go, how am I going to feed my family? So he ended up putting like a little, you know, like car you start with a little cart mm -hmm. or tacos. I don't know what taco he made, he, he said the name, and it was a hit. So now he only has restaurants here, but he has one in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And his specialty was Mexican food. Mm -hmm. So he was so happy. But it was so interesting. They said the story how they, how they found out how to make tortillas, like with grains and stuff, you know, back in the old days. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. That's like sometimes I like to watch cook show because it tells you the history, how it started, you know? Mm -hmm. And that took me, I don't know why it fascinated me. How you learn how to make this? Nothing. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna make tortilla. Can you believe it? <laughs> well. Yeah, anyways, that was really interesting. So even though I was there at the vet, I was like, oh, it was interesting watching those TV shows. Yeah. yeah that's then I watched the end of uh, like X Men, but with Robert Downey Jr. You know, he does the Iron Man. Oh yeah. That was weird. Both sides appearing. Both are shredding. Because mm. big monster comes up with the rock, I don't know. But the stuff that I watch when I go there is interesting because I would never put that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So that was my adventure with the We don't need to tortilla. Tortillas! Mm. This is so good, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please do that, yeah? So, you're in the mood for chit chatty? So, Ching, yes. Or camping, but my way of camping. She's a glamper. Not your way of camping, man. Give me a thousand litters. I'm a rough it. You know, trek up, packing, making. I like that. She's a glamper. Okay, but why, why do you think I'm trapping as a behind you now? I'm in Kevin. Mm -hmm. Let's go to beginning. Beginning camping, only 2.7 miles. Okay. I can run 3 miles. I can do 2.7 miles packing. You didn't smoke a pack a day back then. But I can still. Okay. <laughs> the reason why it got hard, not only did I buy brand new hiking boots, which I never. Broken. And I told her, break them in, wear them around but the I house. I to keep them nice for the hiking. Which I didn't know. This was a regular. So that's my promise saying. 
I told you. By the 2.7 miles, you know what she didn't tell me? 2.7 miles is this way. Two, mo two miles is this way and not like this. Like that. I mean like that. And it has snow on the mountains. And we only have this much space to walk. That means if you go this way, you fall. Yeah. And I didn't know it was like that. So I was carrying like 50 pounds on my back. Yeah. Brand new freaking hiking boots. Yeah, she looked cute. <laughs> she was in And then I get thirsty up there. We're like 8,000 feet. I didn't know this. I never, I never calculated it. I asked her, I'm, I'm thirsty, so I'm going to put a gum. Oh, my God. Why? Because I guess when you put a gum in your mouth, it gets much more enlarged or whatever, the smell. It had like a thousand bucks trying to get in my mouth, and I'm like, oh, no. So I'm like this. No. I don't know. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. It was horrible. And then we get there finally, and she keeps on hiking. She had a thousand gnats flying around her. Trying to get in my mouth. So then we finally get there, and we go in her, me and her, and her son. So me and her son go, no, no, no. We're staying here. We're going to put the tent. Of course, she chooses the smallest tent for us, the two of us. And the big, nice tent for her son. He was taller, I know, but. Nice tent is tall. But it was two of us. <laughs> so she goes and comes back, and we have our tent. I thought we'd be cuddling, and it wouldn't matter, but. It does get a little So stuffy. sleeping time. <laughs> I'm on the right hand side of the tent. Now, we barely fit. I mean, to the point that if I stretch too much, I'm hitting the tent, right? So I'm trying to sleep. And there's some little stupid tag. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I wish I could make this up. The tag, by my face, hitting my face every time I was breathing. Then we have two sleeping bags, and somehow we I end up in the middle of the sleeping bags on the floor, on the on the dirt. So that's how I wake up. But what traumatized me the most, and I'm not the kind of person that gets scary about things, about insects and stuff. And before this, they tell us, oh, make sure you put your food way up yonder because they have bears, and they'll come and kill you if you try to get your food. So that's scary. So in the middle of the night, I had to go pee. So I'm taking my flashlight and I'm going all the way up there where the bathroom is. I'm scared as crap because I know there's wild animals around. And again, I'm not a scary cat, but when they tell me, but you have to walk a little ways. Too. Mountain lions or bears and all that in the pitch dark. So finally, I get to the bathroom and I start getting scared as hell because I <laughs> and I look up and again, everything is dark. There's no light. There's no light in the bathroom. The only thing I have. To go from here all the way up yonder is my flashlight. There's like a thousand bugs on the window. I go, hell no, I'm not doing this again. I'm sorry. So on the way back, I was the last one to go up there. On the way back, ask her. I was the first one to my car because as soon as I got to my car, I put my tennis shoes on because I got me so many blisters. It took me almost a year to get rid of these blisters. I had it on the side of my foot. I had it on the bottom. I had it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So... Oh, so she'll time. never go hiking with brand new boots again. And I'm not going to go with 50 pounds on my back either. Because that was horrendous. To the point that I was starting to split my back. Because her son, he was young back then. So he didn't have that much. And she didn't, she, you know, she didn't have that much either. So at the end, I'm like, okay. So that was, was my experience. She was doing us the favor. She's like, oh, baby, I'll take that for you. Oh, you can put that back here. Oh man, halfway up there, we were helping to unload her mm -hmm. a little bit. Well, that was my bad experience, and I don't think we're ever done like not copying them. Only with Jasmine and Money. But that was different because they have everything. We just showed up. And, and we, we went, went with our car. <laughs> and we went home. We went with our car, and we parked right next to it. Okay. So, you want to call it a traumatic experience, though? You really want to? Mm hmm. Let's not forget the part about when we first got there. That was before, okay, that was already after we got there. That's how it went for her. But how it went for me, you know, buns were really tight back then. But I know we're about to drive into a mountain. Like, we need more than $20 of gas. Okay, you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. I didn't know. I had a quarter of a tag. I didn't know. A quarter tank to drive into the mountain. And the gas light. So we're driving 
20 something miles into the mountain once we were already like in there then we go like way in there there's no gas stations no there's so not any gas stations and the gas light went on so by the time we parked to go on this treacherous hike that she speaks of that whole time i'm hiking thinking how the heck are we gonna get back because we hardly had no gas the lights already been on i think i was downhill Yes, it was downhill, but you know what? We made it. I don't know how. I get what she's saying, but that that I that's too much adventure for me. I don't like that gas game. Just fill that baby up. Sorry, Mary. Twenty dollars to go into the mountain, like what? But I didn't know it's eight thousand feet up. And the thing is, is I'm saying that it, we were tied on funds, but you know what? I don't even think it was that. You did that because we were in a hurry. We hurry to get there. And I remember now. Yeah. Anyways, we're done. So how did we get back? We got back with the mercy of God because it was all downhill and I had it in neutral most of the time. Yes. And I was going second and third. That way I don't have to put my gas up and down. I just, and we made it. We made it. So the gas station, I think we had a couple miles left. That gave my nerves blisters. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't believe it. Okay, anyway, so that's so a story for you. We're that's done. our hiking experience. Yes. One loves it, one hates it. My advice is just never put only ten, twenty dollars of gas when you're driving into them. And never put brand new hiking boots. And listen to your wife when she says break them in at home. All right. <laughs> so anyway guys we're done <laughs> I just wanted to sh share this time with you guys again I'm so sorry that we've not been much online but we've been oh, no, we'll be catching up. extremely busy with our dogs stay tuned but I guess anyway guys thank we're you so still much around. yes we are we're still here so thank you so much for watching um, guys again if peeps if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and please also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as usually Usually, usually, right? As usually, and as usual, as usual, please don't forget to ring, ring, ring the bell, ring the bell, and send it up to all that way you don't miss any of our uploads. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, peace.